Last thing I remember is a beautiful body club. Hey everyone, it's your homeboy Panam and it's the last Tuesday of the month. And you know what that means? It's my February favorite thing. That's right, it's the best time of the month, darling. So I have three different sections. I have things that I bought what I'm watching, and what I'm listening to. So let's get started. So this month I sadly ripped jeans that I've had for over two years and I had to... Sorry. Getting a little emotional. Just, um, just thinking about it. Um, I had to throw away some really well-fitted jeans on me and it was the best two years of my life. Well, that's debatable. Fashion-wise, it was the best two years of my life. It felt comfortable. They were cute. They were just nice denim jeans I got from American Eagle, and they rip. And now they're there in the dumpster somewhere, all by themselves. So, may may she rest in peace. <laughs> So I went to Macy's and I decided to go and buy some new jeans and these are some Levi's and oh, I'm not gonna show you the size. A good magician never reveals his secrets, okay? What? I got these, the, they were for $50, not on sale at Macy's and they fit really well. Oh, they're just basic jeans, I don't know, nothing too much about them. Hopefully they're gonna last a few years or so, so I'm glad I got them. But I know I just had to go pants shopping and I had to spoil myself a little, so I got two button-ups and I love them so much. First one I got was at JCPenney and it was only for, get this, five dollars, honey. It is a camo button-up and I know a lot of people, some people like camo, some people hate camo, but I'm team camo on this one. It was only for five dollars at JCPenney. Uh, but the only problem is it's one size too small than what I usually wear. But it's not that bad. I'll choke myself into it. it it's fine. I like it. It's cute. So good for you, JCPenney. I underestimate JCPenney, I think. I think they probably have some good stuff to wear. So I'll, I'll check you out more often, darling. And then my other button up, I got at Macy's for $20, which I'll wear right about now. Ta-da! Look at it. It's studied. I like the color a lot. It was for $20 at Macy's, and uh, it's cute. I got some compliments on it when I wore it at school, and I actually posted it on my Instagram. It's one of my OOTDs, so <laughs> shameless promotion. Follow me on Instagram. And so now for what I am watching. And there's actually more than I thought this month. Uh, for my movies, I actually had this huge movie marathon by myself. During, uh, I had a long weekend in the middle of February, so I just watched a bunch of movies that I never seen before that have been recommended to me. And some of them I actually watched that I liked. And some of those movies I watched were movies that I will never get sick of. And one of those movies is the one the only Lindsay Lohan's Freaky Friday! Oh, you have no idea how much this movie has morphed into the man I am today. But I did watch some movies for the first time, and one of them was the one, the only, The Notebook. That's right, I have never ever seen that movie before until just a few weeks ago and it is literally by far have been the most highly recommended movie to me so I finally sat down and watched it boy was I not disappointed it was uh, everything that I was hoping for and more honestly and I didn't actually cry until the very last scene oh Arling, girl. If you've never seen it, I do recommend, well, if you're a trashy white girl like me, you love it, sweetie, don't you worry. But I still have so many on my to-watch list. I have um, Rent, never seen Rent. I have Inception, 12 Years a Slave Before the Oscars, Dallas Buyers Club, Milk, and so much more to watch. And for TV shows, listen. 
Honestly, ever since Jimmy Fallon started, I have been binge watching so many talk shows. I have this obsession with talk shows now. I love them. I've been recording um, The View, The Tonight Show, of course, with Jimmy Fallon, Wendy Williams, how you doing? Uh, the Colbert Report, Chelsea Lately. But honestly, one of my new favorite things this month has to be The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. I think he's doing a good job, honestly. I honestly like him though, but I think he's trying to connect to my age group more. And I really enjoy him, honestly, and I hope he's there for a long time. His first week was really good, even though, you know, premiere weeks, they always have the best they can give. But who knows, I'm gonna stick with him for a while. And so I'm honestly Team Jimmy Fallon right now, so even though I know Conan O'Brien was screwed, I completely agree. <laughs> We all know Mr. O'Brien was screwed. And then of course, my ultimate favorite thing. I've been waiting for it to come back and it finally did this month. It's The Walking Dead. Oh, I have been hooked onto this show. I love it so much. It finally came back. If you aren't watching this show, you are honestly missing out. But like, if you don't like gory stuff, then you should probably stay away from it. It is seriously, I, I'm honestly with this show until the end. I need to know how it ends, honestly. And now moving on to what I've been listening to this month. From my Grammy recap, I talked about the country singer Casey Musgraves. And I said I liked her. Well, I liked her so much that I bought her CD. Yeah, it's really good. And this is coming from a gal who is anti-country music, let me tell you. But I think the lyrics are great and it's just fun, easy listening music. And she told me, she gets me. As trashy as that sound, the bitch gets me, like, good for her. And now we have the bargain of the month. I was in FIE the other day. I was looking for the CD section. I found treasure. I got the first three Britney Spears albums. Ooh, Baby One More Time, Oops I Did It Again, and Britney. And guess how much it cost me? Ten dollar, no hollers. Only ten bucks. That is like $3.33 per album. And that's like, I don't know, like 31 cents per song. It was literally a steal. I've never been happier with a CD purchase ever. I am so happy I got this. I, If I didn't, I would have deeply regretted it. Just comparing old Britney to new Britney though, it's like, oh, Britney, you had the world at the palm of your hands, girl. Oh. And now you only have Las Vegas at the palm of your hands. So that is it for my February favorite things. Thank you for watching. You made it all the way to the end. Good for you. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, speaking of like, <laughs> like this video. And, uh, of course, subscribe to me so you can know when my new episodes come out. And, of course, if you want to stay in touch, hit me up. I got a Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and Vine all in the links below. Thank you so much. And I will see you on Thursday on my extra special popular culture Thursday. Okay, enough of the fake crying.